Hey guys, so if you've updated to iOS 8.3, which was released yesterday for iOS devices, um, you may not like it. I've heard a few people ne don't necessarily like it, and it is possible to downgrade from iOS 8.3 to 8.2, providing that Apple are still signing the old software, which they probably will be um, for right now, but not for too long. So you'll want to do it sooner rather than later if you do want to downgrade. What you're going to do first is go to this website here and you are going to scroll down and click the link of your device. Make sure it is the correct link or the update will not work and I don't know what would happen to your device. It may cause a problem, it may not, I don't know. Um, it's just safe to click on the right link. All these links are directly from Apple servers so you do need not to worry. You do not need to worry about malware or anything like that. If you updated your iPhone to iOS 8.2 previously through iTunes, you will be able to skip this step because the software will already actually be on your computer, and I will show you that in a minute. So here we are on iTunes. You can see my phone is plugged in here, and it is running iOS 8.3. So if you want to downgrade to iOS 8.2, you are going to hold down the Option key, on a Mac or if you're running on Windows you're going to hold down the shift key and you're going to click check for update and this page will open it's your library um, if you upgraded through iTunes previously you'll be able to scroll down to iTunes go to iPhone software update and you will find the 8.2 restore file if you downloaded it off the website that I showed you earlier, it's probably in your downloads folder or wherever you told it to download to, so you'll be able to navigate there. What you're going to do is you're going to click the old software, make sure this is the IPSW file that is the iPhone software format, and you're going to click open. iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 8.2 and verify the update with Apple. Click update. Now, as long as this software is still being signed by Apple, this will work. Like I said before, they probably won't be signing it for too long, so you better hurry up and get this done if you do want to downgrade, because otherwise, considering there's no jailbreak for iOS 8.2 at this time, there will be no blobs available for 8.2, so once they have stopped signing it, that is it. You cannot downgrade in any way. So I will let this... I will let this downgrade... Um, it looks like it's probably going to take a while, so I will come back to you guys when it is done. And as you can now see, I have downgraded my iPhone successfully to iOS 8.2. This works because Apple are still signing the software, so hurry up and get it done before they stop. It's important to note, I forgot to mention this earlier, that you should back up your iPhone first. Um, it wasn't necessary for me but I've heard of some people in the past updating through iTunes and losing all their stuff, so make sure you do back up your iPhone first. And then, if you do in fact lose everything, um, then you can use Restore Backup here, and your phone will be just like it was before, but running the older iOS software. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. Um, I'm open to requests if you guys want to leave a request in the comments as well. I'm open to that. So have a good day, guys.